Well, the, the book that you're referring to is the first in what will be a three-volume book on photography at MoMA. And it has been a major focus of my work as a curator over the last couple of years and will continue to be for the next few years uh, until we get all these books ready. Um, this book, the first one that will come out this fall, is called Photography at MoMA, 1960 to Now. And it's organized into eight chapters. And I was privileged to write the first essay about documentary practices from 1960 to 1980. And you're right, when I, I, when I wrote it, um, I was aware, I'm conscious of an attention to that moment that, uh, that I'm delighted because I feel it had sort of fallen out of fashion and now there's a renewed scholarly attention to that moment and I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, I think in some ways, documentary practices from 1960 to 1980 and the, what they were looking at as they developed that, and I think Robert Frank and his book, The Americans, are absolutely central and a touchstone. Um, I think that seeing the way contemporary artists both know selectively and maybe have forgotten also about aspects of that um, that's something that I'm really interested in writing about. So another book that I'm working on that will come out in 2017, same year as the third volume of the collection book. Um, sorry, that was too fast for the translation. <laughs> no asides. Um, is called, uh, will be a celebration of the 50th anniversary of new documents which was a show at Museum of Modern Art in 1967. There's the Americans, Robert Frank. Uh, which was a show of three photographers, Gary Winogrand, Lee Friedlander, and Diane Arbus. And it really was a, the, an effort for the museum to grapple and articulate what was new about their artistic statement. How could you make a documentary photograph and also have it be a personal statement. And the language around this, it took someone as brilliant as John Tcherkovsky to articulate how they could apply that documentary language to personal ends. And I think 50 years later, people are still grappling with how to discuss a photograph as distinct from what it's a picture of. That a photograph is, uh, is of its subject, but it is also can be in the hands of a good artist about something much bigger. And I think the best documentary practices do both of those things. Então, uh, então você acredita que essa fotografia que marcou o século XX ensina a fotografia contemporânea? Você a vem ser inserida na fotografia contemporânea? Ou uh, é um período e a fotografia contemporânea hoje segue caminhos diversos? E no que se apoia a fotografia contemporânea? Well, I'll speak a little bit about one particular photographer to try to be concrete. I, I do think it's not a dead issue. I think it is something that continues to, um, I, I think it continues to be important. Um, I think that I look at a photographer like Paul Graham, who's a British photographer who lives in the United States, and he, when I look at his practice and the way that he tries to engage with that legacy and make something new drawing from it, I find it really exciting and really innovative. He, he takes photographic cliches and he, makes, he struggles to make them relevant. And I think I actually, um, there was a, one work in the show uh, here about cliches of Rio. And I think you know, the whole notion of making a photograph that looks just totally straightforward but evokes something on another level, um, I think it's still happening today. I don't think it's everything in contemporary practice, 
but I think it's one of the threads for sure. Você acredita que exista uma linguagem brasileira da fotografia? Quando você olha uma foto hoje, você diz, isso é Brasil? Well, when I see a really good picture of Sao Paulo or Rio, it's most likely by a Brazilian. I mean, I think, uh, no, I, I am as afraid of the term Brazilian photography as I am of any term, you know, Bauhaus photography or anything else. I really, I think it's much better to be specific about Brazilian photographers or photography in Brazil, just like photography at the Bauhaus or a Bauhaus photographer. Because I, I, I don't know, maybe it's because I can't, but maybe it's also because I don't want to say that there's something in everything I see that connects them all. I, I would, I'm much more interested in understanding the individuality of these practices, um, making connections maybe between Brazilian artists or other artists around the world, or even just understanding something well so that you can see, wow, that's something unique. And our effort at the museum to go around the world and to learn more and really educate ourselves is so that we have a groundwork for recognizing something unique and the triggers and the sociological, economic, political, historical, factors and influences that that a Brazilian photographer might take for granted and that I might have never even heard of, um, but that by trying to educate myself, I can recognize those motifs. You know, I read shadows in Regina Silvera's work differently, understanding what was happening in Brazil at the time than I would have if she were an American photographer making that picture in New York at the same time. and. Luis Perez Oramas, my curator colleague, who was one of the co-curators of the 30th uh, Sao Paulo Biennial, he he supports me. You know, I say, how do you? Do and he's like, you don't have to make any generalizations. Don't worry, don't bother. You know, and I think you could actually see that in his biennial, that it was about each of these individual. You know, he was making connections by what was maybe in one space next to another space but they were really separated as individual achievements and i think that's a key to i think that's a key role of a curator is to try to recognize and celebrate those independence that independence eu acho que eu vou te fazer uma pergunta difícil de responder uh, porque fazem para mim eu nunca sei responder <laughs> pergunto para você Onde anda a fotografia? Qual o futuro da fotografia? You're right. <laughs> that, that, that is a hard question. Um, and when people ask me that question, I am so happy to say that I don't think the future of photography rests with you or with me. I, can, you know, I look to the artists. I say, show us. What's the future of photography? Um, and it is, I think, artists or writers or any, who don't understand that it's the art that comes first. Then, then, once the art exists, I try to say, huh, look at that, or wow, that's interesting, or, um, and it's not only contemporary practice, it's historical too. What, what inform, you know, you, you spoke of my interest in modern photography, And that is a strong interest, but it's not a dead interest. It's an interest in sort of where are the foundations of some of these contemporary practices. But the future, who knows? <laughs> but but I, believe, I believe that artists will show us and then we'll, we'll try to keep up. Obrigada. No, obrigada. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Vamos abrir, então, agora uh, as perguntas para o público.